People, this is the White Dog and welcome to the White Dog Music Channel. So as always on Tutor Talk, we're going to take everyday teaching scenarios, tutoring scenarios that happen with students of mine across multiple instruments. And we're going to talk about them, discuss them. I'm going to put them out there without naming names, of course, in the hope that some of these scenarios might also help you with your practice. Speaking of tuition, we are Tutorful Partners. You can find all links for our partners down below in the description. Tutorful are a premier online tutoring providing service but you can find tutors across all subjects maths english etc etc so if you're looking for online or face-to-face -face tuition see the links below we're also tom and partners where i buy majority of my equipment these days if you'd like to support the channel and buy yourself some new equipment again links below and this video as always is brought to you by elites bass and guitar strings okay in today's scenario i had a student recently who was working through a grade four or grade five piece on the drums I think and he was coming to a bar a couple of pages in on the second or the third page that he couldn't play so what was happening is the student was playing through the song getting to this particular bar realizing that he couldn't play that bar and then going back to the beginning so then as I observed this process it went from the beginning played the bar realized he couldn't play it automatically stopped went back to the beginning this happened a couple of times on the on the on the third time or something like that i will have intervened just to kind of talk about exactly what was happening and why we were taking this particular approach okay so bear with me for a while this is my metaphor for kind of what's happening here so let's just say for example you're on an assault course an army assault course or something along those lines and so you start your assault course and then you're able to navigate your way through to a certain point let's just say that you've gone through the mud through the water you've gone underneath the netting you've done all of that kind of stuff but then you hit something that you can't do an exercise or an obstacle that you can't complete so for example let's say the, the big wooden wall with the with the with a rope pull so in order to get over that wall you need some technique and you need some upper body strength so you're just not quite strong enough and you're not you don't have that technique in place to be able to lift yourself over that wall at that given moment in time so do we then stop and go back to the beginning of the assault course do everything again that we can already do only to find ourselves coming up against that wooden rope wall because effectively this is what this is what was happening and i see this a lot i see this with students a lot this idea that we get to a certain point stop and then almost on autopilot get to go back to the beginning get to a place and stop it's something that I come across regularly. So we've got to our wall, right? Now we've got a choice here, what are we gonna do? Because we're not able to get over that wall. So going back to the beginning doesn't really serve our purpose because all we're really doing is getting ourselves through a bunch of exercises that we can already play, in this instance, a bunch of bars that we can already play, only to get and come up against the same problem that we've just come up against and only to start this process again. So for me, personally, a much better approach to this would be to walk around the wall. Don't worry about the wall for the time being. And I think this is better for a number of reasons. Firstly, as I just mentioned, if we're just going back to the beginning and doing things we can already play, then actually there's no real, there's no real practice in there. There's no real improvement in there. You are, in essence, doing something that you can already do. There's no improvement to be found in that environment. And secondly, if we just stop at that bar, we're never moving beyond that bar and we're never able to find out, well, hang on a minute, because the next exercise along the assault course might be the same kind of thing. We may find that we have repeated problems throughout the assault course. We might find we have those problems throughout the rest of the music. There's another two pages of music to play, right? We might find problem bars in exactly the same way. In my analogy, we've walked around the big wooden wall with a tightrope and we're then going to carry on through the assault course because we need to find out what else is there we need to find out if we can play the rest of the song as well. So we've done that. We've gone through our sort course. 
we've we've gone through the whole of the song. We haven't worried about the bar that we are struggling with. We've moved on from that and we've proceeded to the end of the song. Great, fantastic. The only thing is that we haven't addressed the problem. The problem bar now needs addressing. But we don't necessarily need to address that problem bar within that moment that we're playing through the song. That problem bar or any subsequent problem bars could and should be addressed after the fact. So it may be that we start our assault course, we go all the way through, we skip around the bits that we can't do, and we make sure we finish exactly the same in our piece of music. We start from bar one, go all the way through. Any problem bars that we're not quite sure about, we can skip over for now, and we finish the song. It's an absolutely fundamental part of this kind of practice, I believe. If we start, finish, especially if you're preparing for grades and, and things and stuff like that. So once we've played through the song, we've isolated or we've made a mental note of the bars that we're not quite sure about. We're now going to go back and we're going to look at those particular bars. We can work on those bars on repeat at this point. Again, in our metaphor, if we're looking to build the strength for our wall with a rope, we go to the gym, work on upper body strength, work on technique in order for us to be able to mount that wall, right? Get over the top and come back on the other side. Well, this is exactly the same. Whether it's guitar, whether it's drums, whether it's bass, we have to go away and do the work that's going to allow us to prepare to be able to play that particular bar. So it might be that we have to break that bar down into incredibly small parts. It may be that there's technical deficiencies that you have, and actually that there's some things in there that are too fast, for example. So we need to go away and put some systems in place to enable us to play a little bit faster. It may be that there was a, a particularly tricky passage that we couldn't read, so we need to go away and maybe do some work on reading. There's any number of approaches that we would need to take, but I would say that the approach that we don't take is to stop. We simply don't stop. We carry on, we finish, we come back, and we work on problems. We then put those bars back into the song. If we have the same problems, we go away and repeat the process take that bar out of the song, it becomes a separate part of our practice. We work on that bar, work on that bar, work on that bar, and put it back in until we found that we are able to play that problem bar or any other problem bars in context with the song. And we're able to go from bar one to bar 70 or whatever it is, we're able to finish the song and all of a sudden those problem bars are now just part of the song that you're able to play. So if you, like my student, find yourself stopping on autopilot and just repeating the same thing over and over again, I would say that's not the best approach. It's not the best approach because you are not practicing the problem. In fact, in your playing in general, if you find yourself repeating the same things that you can already play, I would say that fundamentally that's not, that's not good practice. That's not the way that you're going to improve. So this is the conversation I had with my student. Hopefully that helps you. That's my approach. It's my approach to absolutely everything we do. I always address problem areas as part of my practice outside the playing of the, the piece as a, as a whole. All right, I've been the White Dog. Thank you very much for dropping by. Feel free to like and subscribe. Feel free not to. It's all good. Make sure you come back and say this again real soon. Okay, bye-bye.